Hello everyone and welcome to my reaction to Kang and Omega chapter 159. As always, if you haven't already, you should definitely be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future Kangen content. And you should also be sure to hit that like button if you haven't already. I'd like to try and hit at least 100 likes on this week's video. Now, this week's chapter is titled Second Fiddle. I've heard the term second wind, like when someone gets the crap kicked out of them, but then they, you know, they get a second wind. They're, they're up on their feet again. They're, they're going for round two. And I've also heard being played like a fiddle. I've never in my life heard the term second fiddle. So w what? Is, uh, is someone being played like a fiddle twice over? They're being double manipulated or something? I have no fucking idea. Let's not wait any longer to find out and get right into this week's chapter. Ah, Kamaki has crashed. Excellent. Well, while I spam refresh the page... Ah, there we go. A lot of people were bitching about Gia losing last week. Cause, you know, a lot of them lack reading comprehension. So, that's not too surprising. Um, but... Seems we are going into a Gia flashback right now. I did it, Connector. I eliminated the target. Hey, you're looking like shit, G. <laughs> did his bodyguards give you a hard time? <laughs> I thought he only had two bodyguards. Am I wrong, G? What's this here? So we got Faye and Eddie hanging out with Jan. Don't you even know? How to count? Pathetic. So, you can't even handle two of these chumps? Am I getting that right? Ooh. I can't believe you put up with this guy, Jan. If I were related to him, I'd have killed him a long time ago. I'm sure many people will be happy to see Eddie and Faye appearing again, even if this is in some uh, brain-damaged hallucination. Don't remind me, or it'll tell me to kill him. Can't you at least handle a simple chore or two? Knock it off, you two. At least G is doing his best, right? <laughs> Faye, what a, what a nice man you are. I almost got myself killed trying to take out those two bodyguards, but the three of them killed dozens of them? Oh, the connector's left already. Wish I could have seen him. Go to Japan. I'm putting you in charge of our Far East branch. If you're not going to be of any help in combat, that you can at least help out in the background. I always knew that I was second fiddle. So, Eddie and Faye were just hanging out with Jan and they were going killing people, I guess? Alright. This doesn't seem like a real scenario. This seems like a very strange situation, but alright. Second fiddle. Wait a second. I'm a fucking idiot. I have heard this term before, haven't I? You're second best. You're never good enough. Someone that plays a supporting or subservient role. I see, I see. I'm a fucking idiot. I made myself look very stupid in the first minute of this video. Which is nothing new for me, though. So. I don't have anything. I never did. What a, what a sad life you have, G. So sad. Sir Narishima. Excellent work. Allow us to handle the cleanup. You should leave as soon as you can. Now hold on a second. He may be a piece of shit, but that's not... Yes, let me go. I won't fight anymore. I'll stay away from the Kangen Association forever. So please just let me go. Son of a bitch, who the hell do you think you are? How many people have you killed? What makes you think you have the right to beg for mercy? I don't know. It's not my problem. I mean, who cares about the dead anyway? Please, Narashima, have mercy on me. Are you trying to get Koga to kill you, G? Please let me go, Narushima. How could anyone be so twisted? Please just let me go. Narushima, please, Narushima. Does he even have the right to live? Just shut the hell up already. Koga, that's enough. He's not worth any more of your time. Don't kill anyone. Not even this scumbag. There, I've returned the favor. If you try anything again, I'll take you out myself. Am I clear, Gia? He's slithering away. Thanks, guys. Sorry I took your prize. No problem. It's no big deal. Nikaido, I don't think he'll fight us again. Why don't you just let him go? <laughs> don't worry about it. Orders are to capture and eliminate Gia. Our orders to capture and eliminate Gia Gia have been officially revoked. We've received confirmation that Gia Gia has no affiliation to the worm. He has no power anymore. We'll continue monitoring him, of course, but he should be safe to ignore. In fact, that might be a worst a worse fate as far as he's concerned. Ah, yes, pushed into irrelevancy. So sad. The fate of many other characters, G, are about to join the pile. You're gonna get thrown into the back rooms with Yumi. 
I'm not like you people. Keep on living in fear. Hmm. Oh, sounds like the Kangen Association is putting GG under surveillance. We got Tenjin and Ogi. A lot of us were wondering how these guys are going to play into things this chapter. And I guess we don't need to kill him. Let me just check with the head. Uh, hello? I see, got it. You don't have to do anything. Go back to the hotel and await further instructions. Cool. Sounds like G lost after all. Remember Narashima Koga, the brat that lived with the Omega? He lost to him. Yan, forget about G already. <laughs> and he burps. Let's just go get ramen. You wanna eat more? You literally just burped and you still haven't had enough? What a glutton. This is very similar to Oma. They're clones of Shen, aren't they? I mean, we kind of thought that they would be, didn't we? That that Oma and Ryuki would be clones of uh, the Connector or Yan before we knew who Yan was. Yeah, yeah, this big appetite seems quite similar. Narushima Koga? Didn't G's men beat him within an inch of his life? You're telling me he surpassed G in just two years? Well, I wasn't expecting you to take an interest in him. Oh god, is Shen gonna go pay Koga a visit? I want to meet him. Yan, get in touch with the Kengen Association for me. So this is how Shen's finally gonna meet everyone else. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> we're, we're at war with the Kengen Association, remember? I mean, they don't know that you're the head of the organization, so there's no need to announce yourself, is there? I see them, forget about it. I hear that Yokohama is a real hotspot for tonkatsu soy-based ramen. <laughs> I swear, you're way too easygoing. You're lucky you've got me working for you. Yeah, I, I assume Yan is the guy with the wallet. He's the guy that pays for everything. No, nah, but, but Shen's, Shen's interested in Koga. Because, you know, Koga's the greatest martial arts prodigy of our generation. So, he's going to go meet him personally. And then we're... Oh, fuck. That means Shen's going to come into conflict with other characters who were previously top tier. Or, you know, at least, like, yeah. He'll, we'll get to see how he compares to various other Kangen fighters. And they'll presumably get fodderized. Oh, Ryuki, your glasses are broken. Did you just wake up or some shit? Oh, you just arrived. Koga actually beat him? Koga, when did you get so strong? But you're making a mistake. You have to finish him off. Don't do it. I don't want the King and Association to catch on to us. But Akoya, he's a worm. We'll get rid of him eventually. Mark my word. Oh, Akoya wants to kill Koga. Uh, you're going to create another conflict between yourself and Ryuki, Okoya. This is a bad idea. This is a ba that, and you're going to create conflict with other Kangen fighters that can beat your ass. Some people think, oh, fuck, Okoya killing Lu really does mess up the power scaling. Because then, if you think Okoya has actually gotten weaker somehow, then that means Lu dropped, like, several tiers in power. Because even if a like absurd reaction speed is really good for countering um, formless, and he had armor and stuff, you know, so he he had significantly amped durability during that. Um, Akoya should not have been able to beat Lu unless he was like way fucking weaker, and Akoya got way stronger. Though I do think I do think something's wrong with Akoya. Something seems to be wrong with him. Like, he's just off his game. <sighs> Narshima Koga, you have pardoned evil. That makes you evil, and I will condemn you. Cool, so, yeah, someone's gonna kill Akoya. <laughs> someone's gonna kill him. Maybe Ryuki kills him, I don't know. Um, yeah. Cool, neat chapter, so... We're, we're gonna have, we have two people that want to go after Koga for different reasons. Shen is interested in Koga because he's like, oh, he's really talented. I want to meet the guy. Whereas Akoya is like, you have refused to kill a worm, I'm gonna fucking murder you. So, oh uh, shit, if it came down to one tries to kill you and one tries to protect you, I would say Koga's definitely in the better position. I would say especially, like, if Koga meets up with Shen and then Akoya is there for that, Okoya will- oh fuck, I can see how it plays out in my head now. It would not be very plot relevant. I feel like it would make more sense for like Ryuki to kill Okoya. Just, you know, 
because he's more relevant to his character. Um, but if Akoya does try to attack Shen, he will probably get super murdered instantly. Like, I'm pretty sure we very clearly established Shen as, like, a triple S tier character. Isn't it? As far as we can tell, Shen is basically top of the verse. Like, just based on vibe. Vibe-based scaling, Shen is top of the verse. Um, and uh, he, he will kill the fuck out of Akoya, depending on how lethal he is. Um, like, he could just super hold back and not do anything. Like, just not kill him. But, uh, <laughs> you know... Who knows how that'll actually play out. Anyway, that's pretty much all for this week's video. If you enjoyed, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. I do Kang and Omega chapter reactions and reviews every week. If you enjoyed discussing Kang and Omega with other people, or you just enjoy the content I produce in this channel, I highly suggest you check out my Discord server. I've linked to that down in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys around. Take care.